Welcome back to this edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine, moderndallas.net. This week, in the real estate side, we visit a contemporary in University Park. We stop by Craighead Green Gallery and view their annual group exhibition. And in cool spaces, we visit Lark Salon. Enjoy the show. Modern Dallas Real Estate is here in University Park at 3501 Milton. The house is listed by Jennifer Miller of Dave Perry Miller Real Estate. It's a spectacular contemporary designed by Wayne Hall and the interiors are by Laurie Griffin. It's definitely a wow house. One of the beautiful attributes of walking into the house are these windows from floor to ceiling that allow this natural light to come into the living room, dining room and kitchen and conversely you see out to the sparkling uh, swimming pool that just offers this resort style living. In the kitchen which makes this house such an entertainment home on the first floor is a beautiful slab of quartzite fusion on the countertop in the center and the backsplash also has the quartzite on it. I love the Turbo Chef oven. It's a great concept actually manufactured here in Carrollton, Texas uh, it offers a combination of radiant, convection and microwave cooking that decreases cooking times by 15 times that usual convection ovens would take. Other great features are the uh, nano wall folding interior doors that overlook the swimming pool. Outdoors there's great lighting by Potter Art Metal Studios. The upstairs has a spectacular game room absolutely fantastic for kids to hang out or for adults as well to have uh, a game of shuffleboard or pool. On the lower level there's a beautiful master bathroom uh, with an office study, uh, exceptional uh, design in the, uh, in the powder bathroom. Uh, on the second floor, great hallway that leads to a uh, office desk setup as well as three bedrooms uh, for kids or for guests and uh, go up to the third level, you've got a gym that will make you look spectacular. Overall, this is a beautiful home. It's on the market currently. It's listed with Jennifer uh, Miller. You can see uh, more of the home at daveperrymiller.com or you can visit moderndallas.net and see all our real estate listings currently available. Modern Dallas Art is here at uh, one of the preeminent art galleries in uh, the Dallas area, Craighead Green Gallery. I'm here with uh, Scott Presley, the director of Hello. the gallery. Thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Thanks uh, for being here. This weekend, June the 27th, opens a uh, 50 artist show, their annual 2015 group exhibition. That's right. And uh, we selected a few of our favorites. Uh, fortunately, we get the benefit of doing it on Modern Dallas. Um, one of them is obviously Sean Smith. That's Scott. right, exactly. Sean Smith. Um, Sean Smith, who is from Dallas originally, grew up here, went to school here, and then after finishing college, uh, landed in Austin, Texas. Uh, Sean's pieces are essentially a statement on the slippery slope of nature and technology. Um, the artist has always worked with natural products, natural fibers, wood, paper. He was actually a print major in college and so um, to create something a bit more sustainable he moved into working with wood. Um, he uses animals of all different kinds, objects of different kinds. Uh, he always gravitates back toward nature. Um, and it, the, the wood, which is basswood or balsa wood typically, it, which is very lightweight and so it's a little easier to work with is individually cut and then hand tented, hand dyed, and then after much engineering and, uh, and math and science involved, um, he creates this wonderful pixelated image and hangs it on the wall. Unbelievable work. It's fantastic. fantastic. He's been with us for about 15 years. He's quite the hot shot. Excellent. Yeah. So one of the other great pieces is the acrylic piece by Pascaluna. That's it's right. It's such a unique idea taking that acrylic. Tell us it process. is. It's a great process. Pancho Luna, um, who used to be a painter, has turned his paintings into three-dimensional sculpture. Essentially, he, um, he, he, 
He specs and, and uh, gathers hand-cut acrylic, specifically cut to the sizes of the books and the shelves that he wants to create. He then collages book bindings onto the backs of the acrylic and then inserts colored sheets of acrylic in between. So when he puts them all together and when the light hits them and reflects off of them, it appears as though they're actually lit from above or behind. Uh, it's a beautiful concept, uh, definitely a highlight of the show. We're going to talk to Winston Masserenus, who's got his work in the show here as well, and uh, that's a great piece of encaustic work. It is indeed, yes. So uh, Winston, this is a, uh, one of your pieces. Yes. Uh, it's a magnificent encaustic work. Thank you. Uh, give us a sense of uh, what this piece is and, and how it came together. Okay. Uh, this, uh, this piece is Positive Number 5 and it's part of my Positive Disc series. And uh, it uh, is a play of two, a dance of two. So it involves two panels, uh, two uh, pigments and uh, the creation of the piece has a dynamism or a tension between a kinetic energy and calm. Um, so there's this uh, constant uh, dance between two factors in, in, uh, throughout the work. Tell us about the uh, encaustic yes. and then how you create these details. Uh, this work is, uh, as you said, uh, created out of encaustic, which is uh, beeswax, resin, and pigment. And uh, <clears throat> I put it on in a molten state and uh, then fuse it. So there are multiple layers, probably about 15 layers. And then I build up uh, the panels, the uh, painted uh, layers, and then I s subtract back into it by carving in this particular instance and each one of these lines and each one of these in, uh, images in the kinetic area of the piece is hand carved. It's a beautiful piece. It could be in your home. Winston, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Scott, thanks so much for thanks having for us. Thanks for being here. Yep, the show you. opened last night. If you missed the show last night, it runs through August the 1st. That's right. We appreciate uh, you giving us the time here. It's at 1011 Dragon Street in the Dallas Design District. This is definitely one not to miss. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Yep. Modern Dallas Cool Spaces visit Locke on McKinney Avenue. Locke is a combination of the name of the four owners, Lauren Langager, Amy Wetz, Rashina Williams, and Cameron Gary. Locke bridges the gap between functionality and creativity with one vision in mind, a fresh atmosphere that combines passion, a stylish salon environment, and a refuge for talented hairdressers to express their individuality without boundaries. Lark Salon brings Dallas the best there is to offer in a total salon experience, not only on the hair side, but a great collection of art by Chad Peterson and Marcus Pizant. And the salon was designed by Brian Wetz of Council and Craft. This is a great salon at 4441 McKinney Avenue, Dallas, Texas, 75205. Modern Dallas Kitchens visits Balto in the Dallas Design District. One of our fave kitchen uh, showrooms, and the, the highlight has always been the B2 Kitchen Workshop, which is radically rethinking the concept of kitchen and cooking. All the functions are concentrated into three elements, the kitchen workbench with work area, cooktop and water point, complemented by two tool cabinets for appliances, crockery, tools and supplies. This is definitely a kitchen for pioneers in the art of thinking and living and we definitely love this style of kitchen. You can have it open or you can pack it all away and it's really a very cool way to cook and live in this kitchen. Located at 1617 Highline Drive. To wrap up this week, 
We have on the art scene, a couple of galleries have their openings July the 10th and 11th. Highlight this week is Marlena Horak at Ginger Fox Gallery on July 10th from 6 to 9 p.m. And on the calendar of events, we have the uh, Lunch and Learn series at Thompson and Knight and the Texas Art Council on June the 8th, talking about buying and selling art, a lunchtime event. Finally, if you're in the market for a modern job, check out our employment section. If you're looking for secondhand furniture, check out our for sale page on moderndallas.net. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high rise or loft, check out our listings on Modern Dallas Real Estate. We simply have the finest models in Dallas. And for this week, it's a wrap. See you later.